In 1975, the country faced a simple and by now familiar choice, in or out of the EEC. Nothing complicated about that now, is there? You'd think. The organisation of the Don't Know campaign is centred on this country house just outside Monmouth and on the energy of a group of enthusiastic Don't Knowers. Today, these volunteer workers were sending out copies of their manifesto, Why Vote, to every newspaper in the country. The campaign is aimed at anyone who is bemused, baffled or bewildered by the ins and outs of the common market issue. Now I'm confused. The campaign was founded by a design engineer from Monmouth, Farrell Bradbury. I asked him why we needed a Don't Know campaign. He doesn't know. To proclaim the democratic rights of people who, for many reasons, won't be voting at the referendum. But you talk about democratic rights, surely a referendum is the most democratic way of deciding this issue. This depends on the question that's put, and also the subject in which we're being asked our opinion. But a yes-no breakdown is just not possible with a complicated issue like this. And there will be lots of people who won't be present anyway. And uh, a don't know is a perfectly legitimate view to have. And because of this perfectly legitimate view, uh, we as British citizens have the right to representation of that view. I think I understand. So what exactly is the objective of your campaign? Simply to proclaim that all the British citizens who won't be voting for any reason, or spoil their votes for that matter, have the right to parliamentary representation. And this buck must be passed back to Parliament if more people abstain than vote yes or vote no. Nope, confused again. So if you've tried wading through the intricacies of the Treaty of Rome, the intervention payment system and the common agricultural policy, and given up in despair, then the Don't Know campaign is for you. Okay. Well, if you leave a leaflet, I'll try to make my mind up.